Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm going to show you how to get this look. This is like my everyday kind of look. I don't wear makeup every day, so it's not really my everyday look. And this is kind of if I want to look like I put some effort in. And I think it's perfect for summer because it's really glowy and kind of just like fresh looking. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you want me to do more chit chat, get ready with me, just let me know and I will do. So please give a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off using my Benefit Professional Primer and I put this basically on my whole face but mainly concentrating it on like the T-zone because it is a pore minimising product and that's usually where my pores are the biggest so just like around my nose here, like a bit on this area of the cheeks and then here and then just kind of blend it out everywhere. And I love this primer because it really like smooths out your base so it's just so much easier to put foundation and concealer on top because it just glides on so much better. So next moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using my NYX HD concealer. I don't wear foundation on a daily basis so it's the concealer that I've been using the most recently. So I just put it under my eyes, a bit on my nose, around my nose here, chin, and around my mouth. Then I recently bought this new brush, it's the Morphe M439, I think it was, was it Nikki Tutorials? I think she was using it and I bought it just because she loved it so I just love this brush because it is quite dense as you can see but it is rounded and it's quite soft as well so it like blends out so easily and it's just really quick and easy to do. I've been loving this concealer recently because I was using the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer for ages and this one is just like um, completely different because it's so much more watery and not as thick and high coverage so I've been loving this one recently since it is summer now so I do bring it onto my eyelid as well just to cover up any redness or veins around there so now I'm just going to set all of that in place with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder I've been using this powder forever and it's just it's just easy because you know you know it works so I just put it Basically just everywhere I put my concealer. And I put quite a bit under my eyes so it does increase. This is just a random powder brush, I don't actually know what the brand is but it does the job. Filling in my eyebrows and something that I did on a daily basis but since I have this brow pencil I do do it every day or every day that I wear makeup. So I literally just use the spoolie end first and I just brush my eyebrows through just to get the shape right. And then I take the actual pencil side, I don't even see what that looks like, but it's kind of angled and it's really soft so you don't put too much product on which is good because I can get a bit carried away. So I start basically just filling in any sparse areas. And then I just kind of outline the whole brow so it kind of becomes a bit more defined. So now that my eyebrows are filled in, I use the Essence Make Me Brow. This is like a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow, but um, I only use that for like special occasions. So this is just like a bit of a cheaper version really, but it still works the same, so I just put it on my eyebrows just to set them in place so they don't move. This product also does add a little bit of colour so it just kind of evens out the whole thing. Okay, so move on to the eyes. I don't usually wear eyeshadow on a daily basis, but if I do feel like wearing it, I just do so. I'm very simple. So today I'm going to be using my Jack and Hill palette. And the first shade I'm going to be taking is this transition shade, I can't remember what it's called, oh, I can't remember, but it's just like a neutral light brown. And I'm just going to take this on a fluffy blend blending brush, <laughs> this is Sigma Taper Bending E40 brush. And I'm just going to very lightly, almost non-existently, put that in the crease. So this just adds like a bit of definition to your crease, so it just kind of makes your eyes pop a bit more. And as you can see, I'm barely putting any in there because I don't want it to be too much. And then I'm going to take this shade. I'm pretty sure it's called In Light. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. 
It's just a shimmery highlighting colour and I just put this all over the lid just to bring some light and dimension to the eye. And then using this tiny little brush, this is the Zoeva Lux Precise Shader, it's absolutely tiny. I'm going to take the same colour and I'm just going to put this on the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten up that area a bit more. So that's it for the eyeshadow, it's super simple, just you know, natural, glowy kind of look. So now I'm going to finish off the eyes with my mascara, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational and it's the waterproof one. I always use waterproof mascara because, I don't know, it just always smudges on me so I have to use waterproof. So I'm just going to put this just on my top lashes, I only do top lashes on a daily basis. So now moving back onto the face, I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. I'm just going to take the blush shade, so this light peachy kind of shimmery shade here. And I'm just going to put this on the apples of the cheeks just to give a healthy glow and just kind of, I don't know, make you look a bit less dead. This palette is absolutely perfect for summer because the shades are so natural, they're not overly kind of dramatic or anything. So. They just give it a really nice wash of colour to your face and it just makes you look a bit more lively. And then I'm going to take the highlighting shade which is this light champagne kind of colour. It's not super intense which is like kind of good for an everyday look. So I just take a little bit on this little blending brush and just put it on top of my cheekbones. It's really subtle so it kind of, you can only kind of see it when it catches the light but I just think it looks really pretty. So now moving on to the lips, I'm just going to first put some Nivea Hydro Care Lip Balm on just to kind of prep my lips because they are super dry. So recently I've been switching between these two kind of lipsticks. This is the first one, it's this kind of warm nude kind of colour and this is Maybelline Velvet Beige and then the second one is this Tarte, I think it's called like Lip Quench, it's in this packaging and it's in the shade Nude and it's just like the perfect pinky kind of colour. So I think I'm going to go with that one today, uh, but I basically just switch between the two, whatever I'm feeling like on that day. So I'm just going to pop this on and this is super hydrating and it's amazing. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. It's super natural and just great for summer I think because it's quite glowy and you know, fresh looking. So I hope you guys enjoyed and please give a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll be back soon. Bye!